Good afternoon, everyone. It is a, oh, hey, Gary. Oh, and you have a brother. I don't know if I caught those or not, but anyway, they just flew like right in front of my face, practically. That was scary. Scary Gary. Anyway, uh, it is a beautiful day, what I was going to say, in New York. It is like the perfect fall day. It's like 62 degrees, sunny. There are, you know, few clouds in the sky, but basically mostly sunny. Yeah, crisp air. I'm, I'm pulling the, the Matrix vibe here. I'm wearing black pants. I'm going to meet David. We're going to go hang out at this mall that has a really pretty view of the water, if I remember correctly. It also has some designer stores in it. I think there's an LV. Maybe we'll stop yeah, in. Yeah. And to do some editing. He's going to work. I'm going to edit. And then he asked me if I wanted to go on a date tonight. So that's why I'm maybe a little more dressed up than I would be to just go sit and edit at a table. But we're going to go out to dinner. I know he's are here. He knows where we're going. I have no idea where we're going. But yeah, so I will take you along to what I can. But like I said, I just wanted to show you this beautiful day that we're having in New York. Like I said, there is Zenya, there's a Gucci, there's a Bottega Veneta, there's a Louis Vuitton. So we're actually going to the food court to go work, but I'm sure we'll, uh, I'll take a little tour in here and see what they have. You can see there's a Bergamo over there. It's a pretty cool place. Brookfield Place, which as you just saw is right on the Hudson River. I am enjoying a uh, croissant, which is actually just as good as the one that I had in Paris. Speaking of Paris, I am editing the vlog that's going to go up tomorrow. This I think is day three of Paris. And yeah, like I said, it's just a beautiful day out today. And this is a really cool place. If you are in the New York area and you're kind of looking for a place to just come sit and have, you know, some coffee or lunch or whatever and work, it's, they've got really nice sitting areas and lots of choices of what to eat. There's like a Mexican place. I saw a pizza place. There's a salad place. Uh, I didn't walk down any farther, but lots of things to choose from. So, yeah, it's kind of a good place to come, like I said, if you just kind of want to get out of your place, especially if you're like me and a work from home, it's kind of nice to find another place to do your thing. So, anyway, with that, I'm going to get to editing this video because, like I said, it needs to be up tomorrow. So, I'm going to enjoy my croissant and my Coke Zero and get back to work. event so it, I think it's also ambassador too basically 
for a few days right now, like free holiday. They do like a special like reception and we'll have, you know, wine and champagne and hors d'oeuvres, etc. And you get 10 points for every dollar. So, oh, she said the elevator's not working, so that's why there's no light. So, we're gonna go up and yeah, see what they have. And I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything today. I may just buy a very, very large gift card, which also counts, and get my 10 points that way. So, we'll see. Anyway, let's go. It's called El Racon. I can check, check, check. Usually, minimal, I'll play with my guitar player or piano player, but they're both on tour this week, so you get me. Here we go. whether I'm actually going to purchase anything or just purchase a gift card to be used later when I don't feel like pressured to buy things because I know how much I need to reach icon status for next year so I may just like buy that in a gift card and be done with the whole thing <laughs> so because that's how my brain works but anyway I'll take you around I'm gonna definitely check out the designer shoe section because there may be some things I'd like to check out the Renee Calvillo um, Cleo boots, which I've tried once before from either Matches or Luisa de Villaroma, something, one of those, and it just was the wrong size. So we'll see if they have them here and maybe give those a try and see what else they have. So, and of course we'll check out handbags because we have to check out handbags.
Amina Mawadi and also Mock and Mock, but I do not see any Renee Calvillo, which is unfortunate. Ooh, look how pretty those are. The gorgeous little rose on the side. How pretty is that? If only I had somewhere to wear them. So we've got some bags from the row. Quintessential quiet luxury here. No banana bag. Got a tiny little mulberry section here. It's a cute little bag, cute little top handle. Forgive me that I'm not an expert in mulberries, so I don't know other than the mini Alexa, which is this little cutie here. Just wish that they would not have done two magnetic clasps because it makes it really difficult to get in and out of the bag with one hand. I wish they had just made that like decorative and made this like the closure. Would have been much more user friendly. Of course here we've got Ferragamo. Hello. So let's see. Got some little wandas here. It's a cute little sort of black almost box calf. Ooh, and look at this ombre behind it. How stunning. And of course, the beige. And oh, we have some sparkle up there. And then a north-south Wanda, it looks like. And then, of course, their newest bag is the hug. Because it looks like the bag is getting a hug from its singles. in this color, but I do like the mini vase water. It gives sort of a Birkin 25 look. You know, kind of a similar size. Same kind of feel, you know, to the top handles. It does, of course, have come with a crossbody strap, so a little bit, you know, more usable than the Birkin 25, but yeah. Like I said, not in this color, but I am intrigued by the style itself. So I would like this bag in that color. So you guys know that Rose Poupre, which I think that is sort of similar to, is was like my dream bag in Hermes. So, you know, maybe as close as I'm going to get, although keep Make sure you are subscribed and have your notification bell turned on because there, there may be an unboxing to come of a very special bag. We've got some strawberry. I was hoping to see if they had that new style. I do not see it and I'm blanking on the name of it right now. I've seen like a million Instagram ads on it. That's a really pretty color though sort of chestnut brown or kind of gold. This is giving me sort of Picotin meets Celine Sosangle. The Givenchy. We've got our classic Antigonas. I still, I will forever be thinking about a mini Antigona. Probably in black, in the uh, sugar leather, which is this leather here, because it is my understanding is weatherproof or weather resistant. Not that, that I think is the Nano, but in that size, which is, well, yeah, is the Mini. So kind of sad, but I think that uh, Nordstrom did away with their Olave section. I don't see it anywhere here. I do know that you, I thought that they had brought their Celine bags here, or at least I read somewhere online that they had taken Celine out of like 
maybe they're somewhere in Washington, somewhere in the upper northwest. Or the, yeah, north, upper, in the northwest, oh my god. Um, that they had taken them out of the northwest and brought them to this flagship store. But I don't see any Celine, unfortunately. I was hoping to look at a couple bags while I was here. I certainly can buy them through Nordstrom, though. I bought my Romy bag through Nordstrom. But yeah, kind of disappointed that they don't have Loewe anymore. That's kind of sad. And so yeah, they're pretty much left with Givenchy, Burberry, uh, Valentino, and then pretty much more like, I mean, there's Jacquemus and there's Mulberry and Strathberry, but I would say those are more like a little bit of a lower tier luxury brand. So from a luxury brand perspective, it's really just Givenchy here. So kind of sad, I would say. I would love to go to one of the Nordstrom, like in Seattle, where they're obviously based out of, to see like a flagship store there. I'm assuming it's amazing. But anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna see what damage I can do in the beauty department because they're actually doing 15 times points in the beauty section. So I might see if I can pick up some advent calendars for the upcoming holiday. Hey friends, I'm going to Manhasset today, which is in Long Island. And I'm going to go shopping with an Instagram friend who has become just a friend, Heather. And we are going to go to the, I think it's called American Manhasset or Manhasset American, something like that. It's basically a luxury mall. So it has pretty much everything. It does not have Hermes, but it has Louis Vuitton, it has Gucci, it has Chanel, uh, it's Mindy. So anyway, it should be a lot of fun. And we're gonna go to lunch at an Italian restaurant there. I'm blanking on the name right now. I'll put it on the screen, but it should be lovely and I'm looking forward to it. So let's go shop. So Hirsch Pfeiffer's is a really interesting department store. I believe it's privately owned and they have a lot of the major designer and luxury brands there. So you're seeing here, obviously Saint Laurent, uh, I was trying on this cute little bucket bag, which I thought was really adorable. Again, kind of gives like Petite Noé or Neo Noé kind of vibes. And then this little bag I had never seen before. Um, of course, I'm not a huge YSL person, but um, it gave me sort of like their version of a mini Kelly without the handle, or almost like a Kelly to go. But they had some pretty bags. I loved that sparkly one. And then here they obviously carry Lueve as well. They've got the donut chain there. And then I spotted this enormous, enormous, I think it's the puzzle tote is what they're calling it. Um, I've never seen it in this size. There were a whole bunch of like really, really oversized bags. There were some at Saint Laurent as well. And then looking at some ready to wear here, I can't remember what designer we were at, but that jacket felt absolutely horrible, just FYI. And then of course, you know I had to look at their Celine bag area. I spotted this little denim bag. You guys know I am a huge denim bag lover. And you know, sort of the usual suspects. There's some Ava bags up there, some teen triumphs, some classic sunglasses, of course. We've got more sunglasses, a few more of the different kinds of bags. There's a little Boston bag, some of the East West bags, and, and then I there was this. And that. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I thought the I just saw Celine here, so I assumed. Yeah, oh, so it's Kate, and then that's Burberry. Burberry? Yeah, that's so okay. I don't, that does not look like. I don't. Burberry on the does it have that weird? This new. This is their new class. Oh my yeah. Goodness. No, this well, like you know, because Daniel oh, Daniel Earth? Lee took over Burberry, oh, okay. but this. And you can't take it off either. It's, it's like, not, it's like removable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like it's tail. Oh, it's not even removable? Oh, that's sad. Yeah. That's oh, no, actually, I guess you can. This, this thing comes, you can unload that. Oh, yeah. okay. But you can. Not what I think of with Burberry. It's a liar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, this chain is super heavy. So I spotted this beautiful mink Fendi first. I, I'm still still lusting after some kind of exotic Fendi first bag, even though I'm just not a big Fendi first person, but I, I love the design and they're beautiful. There's some of the Fendigraphy bags, and then I was really drawn to this gray, you know, cashmere blend coat. It was actually a pretty decent price. I think it actually might be reversible to the FF print on the inside. And then here are the, uh, those are the shorts that I own. Love those. There's the puffer that I thought about buying in Paris. And some more Fendi Sunshine totes here on display. And then this is a new size. It's the new small size. It's a very everyday type size, everyday carry. It's not really as much of a big tote. And we've got some sandals here, obviously a little out of season for those. And then of course the fantastic Calibris. I love mine. They are seriously some of the most comfortable heels that I own. I would highly, highly recommend them. Got some boots here. And then here I am. I just popped back into Nordstrom on my way back because I hadn't bought the gift cards that I had talked about when I was there a couple days before and the event was ending today. And I spotted this really pretty tweed Tory Burch bag, which I'm not a big Tory Burch fan, but I just thought this was stunning, especially for the price. It was like 450 bucks or something. Billy Air I'm standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us